Okay, I'm working on a 2009 uh, Nissan Rogue transmission. It has a CVT, of course, and the normal problem. It was not, it didn't want to move, okay? But once again, if you look down in there, let me see. You'll see where it's messed up in there. Right down in this side over here. It's torn up. The check balls that was in here messed this variator up. This doesn't want to move up or down. So, this variator, of course, has to be replaced. And you already know that I don't put the balls inside. I put pins in here. Not the little small pins. I started that out a long time ago, putting the small pins in. I just uh, put them in very big now and take out the, um, the keeper that holds the little balls in at the top. Okay, so you can look at it in one of those other videos that I have. You see that. But now, what I want to talk about is these, pu these pulleys here. <sighs> All right. Pulleys that go inside of this cover right here. All right. So what we have is the dri drive pulley and the pulley that's driven. So it's called the driven pulley. When you get a pulley, let's say that this does move up and down, um, and you can reuse this pulley or think that you can reuse this pulley, there's something you need to look for, look at. You need to take the belt off. You're going to have to take it off anyway if you're going to modify it and take the balls out. But an important thing to pay attention to is... Um, the scoring. Okay, let's show you on this driven pulley. If we go here, you will see, see if you can see it, on the inside where the belt rides, you will see scratches. Get a little closer. Mm -hmm. You can see these little scratch marks in here. Okay, if they're up top on the driven pulley, they're going to be in the bottom of the drive pulley. Okay, those scratch marks right there. Now, look at the drive. Let's see here. Look in there, you will see the scratch marks right there. You see all those scratch marks there? That there is that is not good. Hmm, like this thing lost focus. Alright, it's yeah, you see the scratch marks right there. No good. The belt rides on those scratch marks. Okay, here we have the belt, and you want this belt to be smooth. Now on this side it looks smooth. If you look on this side, you can see how rough that is. That's the one that has been riding on those scratches on the pulley. If you get a, a belt like this, I don't recommend reusing this belt because this belt has those wire bands in there that holds these links together and once this scratch down and gets to those links it will pop those links right now it doesn't ride on those links it may appear so but these are out just enough to where it's not touching these bands I mean not the links I mean the bands they don't ride on the bands I mean they ride on these links 
So you don't want this to wear down where it will get to the bands because once it cut the bands, the whole belt is going to go uh, be destroyed. Now, if you put a new band, let's say you get a new band. Oh, I want to put a new band or a good used band on. And you put it inside of this these pulleys here that is rough like what you saw and you saw the scraping this in there then that scraping is going to cut that band down it's going to gouge the band and you end up with the same problem now some said that they have been able to sand these out if you can sand this out get some sandpaper you will be fine well I had a lathe and I put it on a lathe and I took some 60 grit sandpaper some of the toughest I can get and still I wasn't satisfied no way was I able to cut it completely out okay I couldn't cut it completely out now it's possible that you can get it smooth enough to where the gouges that's in there will be below um, the part that's riding on the other part but I wouldn't trust this because there's a lot of work to try to take this thing out what I would do is just get me another set of variators that are smooth and get me a nice used belt that is smooth and hasn't been damaged or a new belt and put it in so that you don't have to worry about this issue um, or it cutting the belt and then you're having a problem there's another problem that you can have also with that belt some have talked about was that when they reuse the belt that had or, or the variators that had this type of problem in there at low speeds it, you could feel it um, as if it was skipping a bit because it's not gliding over a smooth surface you know it's hitting these rough spots in the pulley so I don't know because when I find this I change the pulley okay now there are some that probably can try to cut this down say they remanufacture them um, and if they have a strong enough material to cut this because this is very hard very hard if they have a strong enough material to cut this um, then there's something else you have to be concerned with and that is if you cut it if it's cut down so many thousands is it going to interfere with the gear ratio because now you're taking away from the material and you may have to cut it so many thousands to get down to the good part and remember that it has this follower that follows this thing here okay so the more you cut down the closer this comes up to the belt which is going to put the follower in a different position now does the computer have the ability to allow or has built into it enough to allow for the little amount that was cut out you know if it's not and it goes up too high at a certain speed you may throw a gear ratio code and you'll be wondering what's going on simply because they cut the pulley system down now what they may have to do if one is going to cut this pulley system down shave it off so many thousands they may have to develop some type of shim that will be put on here and if they sh if they cut this down let's say so many thousands they put the same up type of shim in here that has the same amount of thousands that they cut down on the shim to bring it back to its right position so there's a lot of things you have to consider when trying to cut something you know you don't want the computer to throw you up you know do go through all this work and the computer sees it and says, oh well it's the wrong gear ratio because at this speed it should be this you know because it has been cut down so these are some things on the on this J, this is a JF011E transmission out of a Nissan Rogue, which is also in the Nissan Murano. No, 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 it's not in the Nissan Murano. The Nissan Sentra, the Nissan Altima. Nissan Murano is similar, but it's, they call it a different name. The principles are pretty much the same. So, again, if you see variators with that scoring on there, um, I recommend changing the variators get you a set of smooth variators okay if you sand them down you put them in you taking the risk of it coming back on you you taking the risk of it chewing up the belt 
and once again coming back on you okay so you don't don't want to you reuse these unless you decide you want to handle the consequences that may come okay here is a good used set right here um, that is going to go inside that uh, side of that Nissan Rogue it already comes inside the case what you would be tempted to do because here's the old one the one I showed you that had the bad um, um, the balls were broken in there down at the bottom here so what you would be tempted to do if you do get a set like this is just put the whole set in there I don't recommend that because if it has balls in there is it what's going to end up happening down the road is it's going to do exactly like this one did so what you got to do is some extra work you got to take this out and replace them with the pins if you want to use balls there's some in some kits like shift kits or something they supply the steel hardened balls I don't use the balls at all I use the steel pins where it can slide up and down okay so once again do not I don't recommend putting this in because it has a problem with the balls breaking make sure you repair that and then you got to put it back in another thing you should do while you have it out the bearings in there like to go bad so there is a bearing kit that you can get with three bearings now here's what I don't understand why do they have three bearings when this has four bearings but they only give you three I'm gonna have to ask that this is Sonics Sonics give you three bearings and so does some others on the websites three bearings why don't they give the fourth bearing what's wrong It's a bearing but anyway you got three so replace the three put them in because they also are known to go bad not as often but you might be the one that get that not as often so make sure you put them in and put this back together with the pins and then you're ready to go